Hello everybody, I'm Scotty. Welcome back to Scotty's Clock World. This is a Jungen's chiming mantel clock from the 1950s. It has a W200 movement in it. The company was originally founded in 1861 by Erhard Jungens and his brother-in-law and it produced individual clock parts and components. And it wasn't until 1866 that Jungens produced its first complete clock. And now they've gone on to be a bit of a powerhouse in the world of German clocks. Right, I'll open the, open the bezel and the glass. We notice that the knurl nut that holds the minute hand on has come off, so I'll be a bit careful of that. But I'll spin the minute hand round. Couldn't seem to be making very much sound in there. Right, that's the sound it makes. Beautiful tone on the melody. Right, we'll turn it round and have a look in the back of it. Take the back door off. Falls out. And there's a movement in the case. Four gong rods, that plays Westminster chimes, beautiful resonance on it. Bit of excess oil down there, on the strike lever. But other than that, it doesn't seem to be in too bad a nick. We're about to find that out because we're going to take the movement out of the case now. The first thing we'll have to do will be take the hands off the movement. minute hand comes off easily because it hasn't got the little nut on it and I'll stick my fingernails under the hour hand and see how that goes. It should come out relatively easily. It's only held on by friction and that's the hour hand off. Right, close the front again, turn it round. We'll add flat because we're going to start removing the movement from the case. Now we'll start removing the movement from the case. I'll use a long shaft screwdriver with the blade end. You can hear the screwdrivers slipping out of the, the slot and the screws. We might have to put our screwdriver slot file over those and sort them out later on. I think that's loose. We'll bring them out with a, with a magnet. See if that makes a difference. Nope, still not loose. That's the first one. Put them in the dish. I finally got all the screws undone. So we can now take the movement out. I'll remove the case. And there's the movement, the back of it. That's the original pendulum bob that came with the clock.
and that's the front plate with all the moving parts on it. This piece here is the silent chime lever. We'll look into that when we get further into it. Rack and snail movement. We'll have a look at that in a moment and test it before we start to take it to pieces. It's wound up pretty tight, that should be, should be working okay. I'll do the strike. It's, uh, it's tight too, well, those levers should be lifting if it's wound that tightly. I'll put the minute hand back on again and turn it round slowly. Yeah, should be lifting now. That's looking a bit better. That's stopped. Right. Yeah, that's not definitely not working properly. All right, so we've got a bit of work to do to clean that mess up. I'll put that on some legs now and then we'll come back and have a look and see what we got. We'll start off by letting down the mainsprings, put the let down tool over the winding arbor, tighten it up just a tiny little bit, then put the screwdriver in under the click. Pull the click back and slowly let the tool spin round in your hand until all the tension is taken out of the spring. Once that's happened, you can then let the click go again. That's the first one. Now we'll do the time side. Screwdriver on the click again. Tighten the let down tool up a little bit. Hold the click out of the road. And let the let down tool spin in your hand. Make sure you don't drop it or let it slip. It needs to slide out very carefully. That's two. Now the chime side. Wind up the spring a tiny bit, hold the click out, and let the let down tool do its job. Once the spring is let down, let the click go. Now we'll start taking the clicks and the click springs off. We'll start off with the uh, people just don't understand that you don't have to screw everything down and destroy the screws at the same time. This screw here is very, very rough. We'll have to clean that up before we put it back in. I'll have to... Right, that's got that done. Take that off, have a look, and we'll see how much damage has been done to that screw. Look at the top of it all there. We'll clean that up later on. All right, we'll remove the, the spring. Now we'll take the click out. That one wasn't quite so bad to get out. Click spring first. Now the click. That one's not quite so tight, so that's a plus. Have to have a look at that in a moment. It's, they're not meant to be quite as tight as that. All right. Over to the chime side now. Click spring. Pick those pieces up. Put them in our container. Now for the click. That's a shock. That one came out easily. Okay, well... We'll start taking the other parts off in a moment. 